Good morning. I'd like to wish all of you a happy, happy Easter from wherever you are. This Easter is different than all others, for we are hopefully safe in our homes and uh, we will not be with family and friends as we often have sat around table together. And yet Christ is here in the midst of us because Jesus is alive. There's a saying that was been on Facebook um, this week. It says, our empty pews will symbolize the empty tomb this year because Christ is risen and cannot be contained. And it reminds us that Jesus Christ's resurrection cannot be contained in the four walls of our church building. Our pews are empty because we are all out in the world and we have a story to tell. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary ran to tell the disciples and others the good news that Jesus was alive. He was not in the, in the tomb. The tomb was empty. And we have good news and an opportunity to share our worship service with others who may not have had the chance to participate in it before. And that will happen all across the country. What a resurrection this can be. As you celebrate the resurrection in your homes, I um, invite you to take pictures and text them to me. Um, send them to me on your phone and so that I can share those as part of our passing of our peace next week. And also, uh, just a reminder that even though we're, the pews are empty at St. John's this week, we hope to fill them on our first Sunday that we come return back to our church building, to our sanctuary as we celebrate Easter once again. And, um, and what a wonderful resurrection time we hope that will be. Something to look forward to. So have a wonderful, blessed Easter. And now, your announcements and greeting. Good morning. Welcome to St. John's. We hope you have a blessed Easter. While there will be no events at the church this week, there are several activities going on that I'd like to bring your attention to. First off, we will have three Zoom meetings this week. Monday at 6.30, the consistory will meet. Also Monday at 7.30, Christian Ed will meet. And then Wednesday at 4 o'clock, the worship committee will meet. So get your computers fired up and tune into Zoom to be a part of those meetings. Also, on Tuesday, the Butler County Food Network will do give out a distribution of food. Um, we need some people to help carry boxes out to the cars. Um, the food will be already boxed up. You just need to help carry it out and put it in the trunks of cars. Um, the distribution will be from 10.30 to 2. If you're interested, be at the church at 9.45 a.m. If you have any questions, you can contact Sue Ann for further information. A fourth grade teacher asked her students to write a paragraph describing their parents. She was really impressed when one young boy said that his mother had luxurious auburn hair. So after class, she pulled the young man aside and asked him where he came up for the description of his mother's hair. And the young boy said, that's what it says on the box. Have a great week ahead. <laughs>